Ash Arrow is going to stun somebody um, and avoid the Elise ganks. You know, yeah. they do have both early game junglers there, or avoid the Elise and ganks. Azir should be able to push in that lane early, at least, but then he has to just dodge the ganks. That is the hard part. Charm and Cocoon, incredibly uh, potent crowd Yeah, it's a drawback anytime you are the one trying to pressure the turret. Well, we'll have to see when we get into the rift, but before we do, be sure, head, be sure to head over to Twitter and cast your votes for this game. We may have some early action as they look to collide yeah, everything might be off here as we are going to get spotted by a ward arc. Oh. Gorilla going to lead the charge. There's no vision though. Going to get a crest off. Boomerang played out. He's forced to flash out. Mylon goes straight in though. Hojin and Spurs get knocked off by Alistar. Spurs ignited. Here's death for first blood. Mylon going to get a oh, play. Oh, oh, he does get it. But the Boomerang blades out. Two for one there. No respect though for the Bros coming in their face. Second complete. Just drop a deep ward from your jungler, so have your top player and teleport, teleport in, and here they the come. Kobe. <laughs> oh, it's always like he's good here. Is, we are going to have a dive. Flash Cocoon is going to land. Smash is going to get absolutely obliterated. We got TT going to clean up that killer. Hojin running for his jungle, hoping it is safe. And there might not be any follow-up, but that was well played. At level six early, and if he can find one gank, he can nullify that entire advantage. Smep right now forcing Highlands Flash. Yeah. Turbo Gorilla comes in, flash play. play. Now gonna try and line things up here. The Gorilla gonna keep chasing. Throws out a lance at Hojin. He's gonna walk up away. Great hook there, lands on the mile, and that's gonna be a kill for sure as Hojin will pick it up. Yeah, they have to nail this dive. If they don't this get this is, dive, this is This is pretty, exciting. pretty greedy here from Koo. There's Dragon Smith. Great flash out of the headbutt. Pops out there, does the dosi do and gets out easy. Green advice, Scrap Bow, just outplay it. <laughs> Stop playing, dude. Soak that experience. Even if you die right now, you soak half away. You've done your job. Pain gaming, grouping. But at mid lane tower, no way to this goes down. 13 does get nailed by the arrow. Charm will land. Kuru's gonna go all in. Hoja gets denied. Moved out there by Kami, and the ignite's not enough. Great cleanse from Kami, showing off his skills. Whoa, everybody collapses there to protect Sir T. But the thing there, they kind of abandoned him under the turret while he was stunned. Here comes Mylon, yes. though. He's. All alone, Trouble he for does flash this time. Hook will land, plays there as well, and it's just another easy kill. Who's gonna get it? Oh, the heal's good! Might be enough to keep him alive, but probably not as Hojin gets it again. Yet to get their vision down. So, looks like it's gonna be up to... No, it's the cut this time! Hojin cleans him out now as the ulti goes out from Thresh. Kuru's gonna get a next kill on just 30 as Dude. He is caught out, the ulti's gonna wear off soon. There's too much chase here. Gets played back there, it's gonna be a third kill. That was a fantastic engage from Ku Tigers. Yeah, he's quick on the cleanse. If he can see the projectile coming, but he couldn't see that arrow. Immediate follow-up as well. Ku Tigers take three kills, one mid lane tower, and they can still bounce back to Dragon. Pain are gonna be able to collapse and grab Dragon now at least. Yeah. Yeah, Kyo actually sort of see that objective huh. need to go back. They've sort of seen a lot of fear, but it's oh, just a tactical again. advantage. Oh, Whoa. never mind. Dude actually going to go aggressive, but the rest of Kyo's here. Hook does get cleansed off by Unbreakable Will with a kickback. Cannot be moved off there. Hojin bounces back. Very cute play from the Kyo Tigers. And they'll get themselves a kill. The arrow lands on Tamylon. He's the next target. He'll flash out of the way. Now Kuro going to keep himself chasing, but Smeb's going to jump all the way in. Might be enough to secure a few more. They dive straight for it. I don't know, dude saw red right there on Alistar and he was like, Gorilla's here? I'm gonna go flash pull the head about you no. back. So you have to wait until 20 minutes. That blue buff gets smited away by Hojin. Yep, does get it. Smeb actually chasing here. Does have that frozen mallet, like you mentioned. Hook will be just a little wide as Cersei jukes himself out of the way. Kuro going in out of the BOTT, but Milan's gonna pick him up. BOTT will tie there to pray as he flashes over. And Ku, no Baron just yet, but they do get themselves a kill and know that you're playing against a team with the Moby, Boots, Thresh, and an Ash. But they're going to try and defend so Red aggressive. Here. Oh my god, the hook really? lands 13. He's going to get charmed up there. They'll take him out almost instantly. And now Milam could be in a bit of trouble. He does spin around Gorilla. Will get dunked as Kami collects the kill. Smed though, hops over to the Krugs. He's looking for the wraparound. Oh! oh! As Ari does get the double, make it a triple. Might even be more. Looking for the Quadra Kuro. No, not going to get it onto BRTT. As long as that Lee Sin Q was, he actually died to the red buff yeah. burn that Kuro had anyway. Dragon back up also. Kuro already have it. Yeah, if the goal was even, that could have been a good fight because there was a good Emperor's Divide there from Kami. Just going to take the Baron and close out the mid games as cleanly as Kuro has done so many times in the LCK.
And he goes to roll to get Oh, Gorilla does get cocooned up there. Damage around the side. Hojin kicks PRTT back in and he's going to go down as prey. Now on a killing spree, dude. Getting chased down. Smeb's going to get that kill. No kills just yet as Gorilla is low. Kuro will keep chasing. Good shuffle out there from Kami. Gets up under the charm. Hojin chasing. Hook does land. Hojin taking the sun turret, but he will not die. And it looks to be an AC. The last kill will go to Smeb. Uh, a one for zero trade here uh, on the side of Ku Tigers and, and Pink Gaming could have escaped with at least one or two members if the youth pressed ulti. So very, very peculiar. Not sure what exactly happened there. In the end, doesn't really matter all that much. Ku Tigers pick up the Baron there now. Good yeah, and obviously, Ku Tigers here, they just want to close as efficiently as they can. Don't want to make any mistakes like getting caught here by Kami, for example. Tried to make the play, but he didn't quite get it. The flashes are burned. Gorilla getting low. Rylize is good for a few slows here. So, Kami actually forced the double summoners out of prey with that move. This and may be Smith's attempt. He didn't get to play a juggernaut, but he can buy it. <laughs> he buy certainly like can. Build your, build, build your, build your <laughs> juggernaut composition. With that team. And when they get ahead, better believe they stay ahead. Yeah, they do stay ahead because they play with the necessary caution. No uh, overstepping of their boundaries. They haven't been even outside of their base in the last five to ten minutes, it feels so. The wheel are forcing the cleanse there. Slowly but surely, whittling away. Now we see an engage. Oh, Smeb! That went through a spell shield, tried to go in onto BRTT, but Hojin gonna dive in! Kuro just going absolutely nuts as Kuro is gonna get that first kill. Gorilla is low there, Kami trying to ditch out the deep, but it's carnage here in the base as Pain Gaming is just too far behind. The ace will be completed and that may just be game. Slow and steady and immediately explosion. Ku Tigers ace for one in return. Gorilla drops his second death of the game and a look at the closeout. They are gonna finish things off you. It is business as usual for the Ku Tigers as they play their first game here in Paris. The early game was a whole lot of fun, but Ku showing where they are such a strong team that must be feared in this World Championship.